former Premier Mossadegh's ruined house is a mute testimony to three days of bloody rioting culminating in a military coup from which the one-time dictator of Iran fled for his life. The crowd shouted death to the Shah. Among the despised symbols of their monarch, the marchers raised pictures of the Shah's antagonist, the bearded, fierce-eyed holy man, Ayatollah Khomeini. Deep in Iranian territory, Iraqi armor chalks up fresh successes on the battlefield. For once, an Arab army is inflicting territorial loss on the enemy. The enmity here between Arab and Persian, as old as that between Arab and Jew. A border war that started months ago with fretful skirmishes. A war that no one now seems able to stop. A war that still threatens the world. Iranian resistance crumbled in the early days to the advancing Iraqis. There are signs now that they might not be having it all their own way, but in this sector at least, the Iraqis are jubilant. Calling up the Iraqi flag over Iranian government buildings, bringing with them propaganda posters of President Saddam Hussein, and posing for ironic group photographs with the old imperial lion of Iran. On the road back from the front, the spoils of war. Captured Iranian tanks, American M60s, being hauled back to Baghdad for the big victory. A victory parade that may now have to wait a while. The Iranians are showing some signs of resistance. Resistance on the battlefield, but above all, resistance to the very idea of a ceasefire. A dawn raid by Iranian jets, signaling that Iraq does not have it all its own way in this war. So the Iraqi army will withdraw from the east bank of the Shat al-Anfirk. Do you foresee the Iranians in their present state and in their present mood agreeing to any of that? بلدين بالنسبة للأمور الاجتماعية أو للأمور الاقتصادية أو للبحث فيما يعود على العالم بالفائدة والخير للأمور الاجتماعية أو للأمور الاقتصادية أو للبحث فيما يعود على العالم. It is very concerning, absolutely, and we've always been very worried about the streets of Hormuz. But at the same time, it's not as if this is a a new area for uh, unrest and things to worry about. This is an important waterway. It's strategic. 20% of the uh, world's oil passes through that waterway. And what these officials are saying is that they see that the IRGC is practicing now a significant naval exercise. They say this involves dozens of small boats. They say it's not clear As why this is happening. tensions with the United States, Iran is pushing back against sanctions, warning it has seized control of the Persian Gulf and the Strait of Слава Богу, и Россия, и Франция, и Иран, они независимые, свободолюбивые государства. The irrationality of the Iranians, they have taken to attacking as they did with this most recent incident, that was Kuwait, and an oil loading platform offshore, in which they fired evidently a so-called missile that had caused damage to it. Uh, we are simply, we've said that if attacked, we're going to, we're going to defend ourselves. And we're certainly going to continue this task, and we've now been joined by a number of other nations in keeping the, you know, the sea lanes open. The specifics of the naval exercises are extremely concerning. The reality of the broader picture is I wouldn't say steady state, but it's like constantly like this. If they do something here, it's going to be not just the US that comes after them. You know, you're going to see Saudi coming after them, China coming. It, it, it'll be cataclysmic.